Uh, today I'm attending a meeting with my staff from the UK Centre to follow up the uh, progressive wage uh, for the security uh, industry. I will also be uh, discussing uh, with them uh, some of the things uh, that we uh, need to do to show appreciation to the security uh, officer. Uh, we are also looking at the PWM for the landscape uh, industry. Uh, the other portfolio that I'm holding is actually my care and share uh, department, where my department spearhead the fundraising, the NQC uh, UK Fund uh, raising uh, program. Uh. He's a very passionate person about low wage workers. He's a very ground person. He makes it a point that he will always, uh, when he attends an event, he will be early and he'll be early there to see whether he is able to engage the cleaners, security officers. All he wanted to get was to get the feedback, whether you are being paid the salary that you're supposed to, were you given annual leave, CPF. So these are the things that he goes on to the ground and find out. We recently had a worker who actually came in and said that he, she wasn't paid CPF for the past five years. So he was totally passionate about the whole thing. So we went into the case deeper and we found out that besides the worker, there were about 113 others who were also not paid CPF. He actually wrote personally to MOM and CPF board and asked them to pursue this case ASAP, knowing that the company is trying to settle privately with the worker. He grew up in a low uh, income uh, family. Uh, my father works as a security guard, my father worked as a cleaner and my father also worked as a gardener to just earn enough uh, to support the uh, family. Uh, and I feel uh, it is very, very uh, important uh, over the years that we give uh, better recognition uh, to the uh, workers uh, earning, uh, uh, earning uh, doing uh, this type of job. I'm currently uh, having my work as Executive Secretary in Batu. Uh, many of my members are actually uh, low-wage uh, workers. Uh, our EXCO meeting, uh, normally we have it uh, once a month, uh, whereas the uh, Executive uh, Secretary, I uh, support the uh, President uh, as well as the uh, EXCO uh, members uh, to run through the uh, agenda for the uh, meeting. The NTUC area staff, uh, like myself, we will uh, actually uh, update uh, the EXCO in terms of uh, membership, uh, in terms of the number of companies that we have uh, unionized. I will share with them uh, some major announcements related to NTUC or related to government uh, policy. Uh, for this uh, particular meeting, I intend uh, to share with them about our uh, CPF uh, policy. So Now I'm heading uh, to go to my Meet the People uh, session, uh, which I have every uh, Monday. The best part of this job, uh, really, it enables me to uh, connect uh, to my uh, residents. Uh. Uh, these are my regular uh, volunteers, All right, Mr. To, Mr. Ganesan. Without fail, they will come at 7 p.m. to get the place uh, ready. Uh, all right? Without fail. All right? Then, uh, on top of that, uh, sometimes uh, my staff uh, from uh, NQC, uh, Zihao, uh, Zihao would also help me out. Uh, and I also make sure, wave lah, Zihao. My son is also here, uh, my son. Yeah, yeah, that's my son. I also get him to, to help out as well. I'm also very, very uh, thankful uh, that I do have a lot of uh, volunteers uh, at my MPS. I always uh, look forward to uh, because it uh, enables me to understand uh, what are some of the ground issues my residents are facing and also try uh, ways and means by which I could uh, help them uh, in their appeal cases. If I manage to help uh, residents uh, with their appeal, it gives me that sense of job uh, satisfaction that I'm able to make a difference. No, as a Labour MP, I am the voice uh, for the workers in uh, Parliament. My focus is really uh, championing for the uh, low-wage uh, workers. In Parliament, I will speak up. If I feel there are certain uh, policies or certain uh, initiatives uh, that will be taken by the government that will uh, impact on uh, low-wage uh, workers, uh, for example, uh, recently, other than work-related uh, issue, I also spoke up about the Act on the uh, Harassment Bill. I've also uh, spoken on the uh, Money Lending Act, where I believe uh, many low-wage uh, workers might be uh, affected. In my portfolio, uh, 
under care and share uh, department, uh, I have actually used uh, my position as a member of uh, parliament uh, to raise as much uh, funds as possible so that uh, we could assist uh, the uh, low wage uh, workers in terms of uh, financial assistance through our youth stretch vouchers, uh, through our back to school uh, program. It is very, very important someone uh, must uh, fight for the right of these uh, low-wage workers. I could actually uh, empathise these workers, being the fact that uh, my father used to be one of them.